you know, people see me and I'm five foot three, 193 pounds. And people think that I eat fast food all the time. That I eat, you know, cakes and cookies all the time. I don't eat fast food. I eat it about once a week, but I don't eat it every day. I don't eat it, you know, two, three times a day. And the reason is, my body cannot handle it. You know, my body is too, you know, accustomed to normal food. You know, like going to the farmer's market and picking out potatoes. I'm going to the farmer's, I like going to the farmer's market. You now go to the farmer's market and pick out an orange. And, you know, go home and eat that. Uh, you know, eat it with some, like, Italian bread. Go home and make homemade beef stew. I, my body is accustomed to that. My body is accustomed to having salt and sugar and grease in it. But there's a certain amount of each that your body can handle. And my stomach can only handle so much. Now, when I go to a fast food place, no matter what I eat or where I eat, no matter what meal it is, my whole system, particularly my stomach, cannot handle it. Because one, salt irritates your stomach. So does grease. So if you're eating something that, you're eating something like a McDonald's meal that is salt and grease, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you gas. It's going to irritate your stomach. It's going to also have that sort of laxative effect. You know, it's going to make you poop, but it's going to give you the gas before you poop. The problem is, the food that is saturated with that salt and grease is not, when I repeat, it is not fiber food. You know, it, it's not vegetables. It's processed meats, it's processed breads, it's processed God knows what. So when you're sitting there and you get that urge to, you know, for me, about an hour before I go, I get that sort of gassy, bloated, you know, sometimes abdominal pain. And the whole hour I'm sitting there going, God, hurry up, make me poop. And then you get the urge to poop. And even afterwards, your, your stomach still hurts. Because, you know, that stuff is still not done with you. So after you, you know, poop, then you end up having to poop again. And it kind of irritates your stomach. And that's not good for your stomach. It's not good for your stomach. It's not good for your colon. It's not good. Um, it's actually bad if you have hemorrhoids. It can also create hemorrhoids because, you know, the stuff is not fiber, but your body is trying to force it out. You know, it's not soft. It's not like a natural flow. It's not, you know, it's not all coming out of you. It's coming out in section. It's coming out in hard, and that's not good for you. So what I, and you know, another thing, uh, if I eat it for dinner. If I eat a uh, Big Mac at 6 o'clock, and I don't go to bed at 2 o'clock, I don't lay down at 2 o'clock, 15 minutes after I go to bed, I'll get that acid reflux going on. Again, salt and grease. And I honestly cannot put up with that. Like, my system cannot handle that. So what I like to do, I like to stick to sort of the old sort of fashion diet well old as in I'm living in modern day but old as in you know your fruits and your vegetables you know go to a farmers market where you know the stuff is fresh go to a farmers market and you get you know a couple of potatoes and you get some carrots or a carrot if you like carrot Get some carrots, you get some potatoes, 
You go to the butcher shop and get you some meat. Not in the grocery store where they put that stuff, all that weird crap in it. You know, just go to them and you get that stuff. Go homemade, homemade beef stew. You eat that with some uh, thick bread, like Italian bread, and your stomach will feel fine. Your stomach can handle salt, sugar, and grease to a certain extent. But it can't handle all of it at once. It can't handle like a lot of it, I should say, at once. So, you know, make my nose itch. So that's why I don't eat fast food.